Hi, this is Wes Fryer. It is March 30th, 2015. I thought I'd record a quick video to show how I'm using a, a couple free programs to remote control our Minecraft EDU servers. This is one of our computer labs here at Independence Elementary for fourth and fifth grade, and we are doing a Minecraft challenge. This is the second time that I brought all the students to the lab to do Minecraft and an, and an activity. Uh, we do Minecraft because it's a collaborative project. There's a lot of problem solving. Um, students actually do learn a lot of computer literacy skills, believe it or not. Some of our, of our kids aren't familiar right-clicking, using function keys, um, and then, you know, Minecraft requires building and following recipes to make things. So um, that is one of the things I'm doing different this time. I've made a two-page recipe sheet um, that lists about 24 different recipes. And uh, students this week have been building a tree house, um, but they have been asked to build uh, to some specifications. So they needed to have a 5x5 five five area room and they also are building a corral which has a certain perimeter. Um, one of the things I just learned today that I haven't known before is that when I have my kids in Minecraft EDU mode, um, I as the teacher can be in creative mode as the only one which is awesome. So when they finish as an incentive I can give them the animals of their choice in their corral. Perimeter and area is something that is notoriously challenging, um, working with fourth and fifth graders to get them to understand. These are uh, some illustrations I actually just drew up here on our board today to help the students see, you know, we need a five by five grid and the wall is gonna be around the outside. And so it's helped this with this visualization and then showing some examples of what students have done. And then for their corral, um, we talk about perimeter and we add up the sides and there are different ways they can have a perimeter of 24. They can do a five by seven, a two by two, 10, a 3x9, a 4x8, or a 6x6. And so actually having the students count and show that and, um, you know, a, a lot of times they're needing to make adjustments and make changes. Uh, but this has been a good activity and it's definitely helped, I think, having these illustrations. The best part of this or the biggest learning part is when I'm having these small conversations with students, asking them to, you know, show me their, their corral and, and count and, and, you know, we're talking about perimeter and they're actually building it, right? They're building this virtual, their virtual corral in Minecraft. So this is my laptop computer and I'm running two different programs that allow me to remote control these server computers that are in other rooms. Um, this one is just called screen sharing. It's free on the Mac. And uh, what I can do is, well, I've just finished up with a class, so I'm gonna um, save and overwrite the, the same file that we used last time. And so that's saved and now, I can go ahead and stop the server and uh, return to the server tool and then I'll be able to open up my class, uh, which is Ms. Payne's class, that I'll have this afternoon. And again, I am remote controlling this um, from, from my laptop. This actual computer is physically located in our maker studio that's next to my classroom that's down the hall. And so um, by using this remote control uh, program, I'm, I'm able to, to not have to physically touch those, those machines. So now, if I can go over here, um, I'm gonna do something called using remote desktop connection. This is a free program from Microsoft and um, knowing the IP address of the uh, computer, and Minecraft will say that right at the top, um, for what that IP address is, I'm able to connect and again do the same thing. So from, uh, from my machine here, I'm able to remote control. I've got a messy desktop. So now I will select the saved world and this is gonna be Miss Payne's. One of the things I found that's really helpful is to put the teacher's name at the beginning. Uh, and so like this when I'm you know in between classes or at the end of class as it may be, I can go ahead and open that quickly and then get that ready for students. If you'd like to learn more about Minecraft EDU, there's a great Google group that you can join for teachers. Uh, Minecraft EDU for teachers, I think, uh, or you know, Google Google group, uh, Minecraft EDU. Um, you can also visit my website for STEM, which is stem.westfriar.com, and click the link in the left sidebar for Minecraft. Um, I've got links to. Um, the page which someone else made for navigation, but then I've also, you know, shared the uh, Minecraft reference guide as a um, shared Google Doc that you can check out and uh, other resources that we're using. Minecraft is great. I love being able to use Minecraft with my students to help them develop their digital literacy skills and their problem-solving skills, their collaboration skills too. It's awesome.